Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Loon. I hope you're all doing well today. And today we're going to take a look at this 1967 Chevy Camaro Z28 that I've had in my collection for quite a few years now. Um, I have shown it briefly before, but I just thought I'd show a bit more of an in-depth look today and just show the quality of what Ertl Authentics was like. You know, because we all know Ertl, it wasn't the best. It was, it was alright for the price range and they did some good stuff, but they weren't the best in quality. But uh, the Earth Authentics, which now is, I think, um, Auto World has took it over now, and they do do Authentics. But in my opinion, they're, they're not as good as the original Earth Authentics. But anyway, let's take a close look. So this is the 67 Chevy Camaro RS edition, as far as if I can remember. And uh, straight away, we'll take a look at the roof, because the roof has really done well. As you can see, it's got a really, really done a really good job of trying to make it look like a vinyl roof and as you can see it's got the stripes you can see it's got speakers in the back here but it's just done really really well the front grille is actually hollow so you can actually see the radiator behind it you've got some vents going on at the bottom the lights are really nice no pegs and this is a really weighty piece because they put more die cast into this than most cars had back then. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Even the fuel cap looks legible. Take a little look in the boot on the rear. See, it's got spare wheels, it's got the usual picnic matting sort of on the trunk floor. Have a quick look inside. You can see it's got the proper hinges rather than the old style dog legs. You can see it's got photo etched seat belts. It has got black carpet. You can see it's got... Now the sun visors do actually pull down, but I'm not good at the moment because, uh, you know, it's better to use a pick tool really, but uh, they do actually move. Just really nicely done. The seats go forwards. Soft vinyl. They're like a rubbery soft seat, so they actually do look like a you know the proper vinyl seats that would have been here. They did a really good job replicating it. Uh, the aerial does go up and down, as you can see. Um, I'll try and get the bonnet open if I can uh, get me get me nail into it. Two seconds. As I said, I should have had my uh, little tool up here, but I forgot to bring it up. There you go, there's the, there's the bonnet. And as I said, as again, it's got the proper sort of sprung hinges. Now this car. If I remember rightly, let's put the camera down a bit. I got this back in 2007, so it's about 14 year oldish. Um, and like I said, some of the stuff it had on it at the time was only the real high end cars like GMP were starting to have, and some of the Acme's. But it's got the proper spring scissor hinges. There's the little 302 cubic inch V8, turbo fire on the air cleaner there. Let me see if we can get a bit closer. There you go, it's all piped and wide, so all the spark plug leads. You sort of see what it says, 302. You see the master cylinder, alternator. Just done really well. You can see it's got, even the battery's got wires going to it. I believe the real ones of these were about 290 horsepower, but they were probably more like 320. These things were very under underrated. They, they you know, they they... They sort of lied on the actual output of these cars. These cars were quite quick back in the day for what they were. They really did give, you know, the Mustang a go for its money. But anyway, let's, let's take a look underneath. And yeah, it has got suspension. I forgot to mention it's got suspension. But uh, this is where it gets interesting because the K member is actually die cast. And the engine, the block of the engine is actually die cast. And the transmission's die cast. And it's got the same as the GMPs as a spinning prop, all the Highway 61s. But this spins a lot smoother than any GMP or any Highway 61 because all the diff and all the back axle there to there is all die cast. So it, it's just really, really well built. So that's what makes it really heavy. But... Uh, like I said, I'm not quite sure how long they made these for. Um, 
I think the box came with a uh, certificate of authenticity. I think this car had over 200 parts. Um, like I said, they were good cars, but they didn't make them for long because I don't think Ertl could afford to keep up. You know, they weren't, I don't think they were overly popular. From what I've been told anyway, that's not my opinion. That's someone told me that that knows a little bit more than I do. But uh, like I said, I've got a few of these in my collection. I've got, got a couple of Mustangs by the Authentics and I've got this Camaro and a few various others. But they were, like I said, they all came, all the engines, transmissions and stuff and the K members were all die cast, you know. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd show it. It's not an overly long video today. But uh, yeah, as I said, it's one of my favourite cars. It's just really well made. And like I said, for an Ertl, it, in my opinion, it was up there, at least with the Acme cars. I, I would put it to the Acme quality, being, it, you know, in my opinion, set, the Acmes don't tend to have the moving prop shafts. Anyway, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you all very soon.